Roma settlements can be traced to uh, about six decades ago, in 1960s. It started with the uh, government declaring their responsibility for social housing of uh, uh, big industries that it was uh, started in Egypt with the revolution of 52. Uh, the government has built a huge manufacture uh, and factors in, in the different cities and with that, with these industries came a lot, huge influx of uh, rural population to work in these industries. And as a result, the government felt responsible for accommodating those people. Uh, start, they started by the social buildings in which they have this kind of uh, uh, homogeneous uh, blocks of cement where people would live in it. Um, with that influx, the government was uh, fell short in fulfilling its commitment because they were planning to have more than 1,400,000 housing they were able to build five, uh, 500,000 only for the people there. And as a result, uh, the, those people were trying to find ways in accommodating themselves. Uh, this, the government fell short because of the, uh, of the war uh, in the 1967, uh, because all the resources were direct towards the, uh, to building our army. And as a result, people start looking for other accommodation. Um, the whole problem uh, exploded when the government issued the new uh, the rent control uh, law, in which it specifies the rent for uh, for a specific period of time. Uh, in this case, there was a huge housing problem in Egypt. All the middle class were unable to pay for the uh, for the. The apartment. And as a result, they were looking for other solutions. The solution came in dividing the housing that they have into different apartments. Uh, the same house is divided into different apartments. They added uh, informally extension to their houses, like balconies, like uh, additional rooms. Uh, however, with the, with the high density of the population within the inner city and with the infidelity that happened in the 1980s and the remittances that were coming from the Arab Gulf, people were looking for solutions. Middle class couldn't afford the high prices of the land in the inner city, so they started looking outside the city.